In this video, we're going to talk about accuracy and precision. But in order to talk about accuracy and precision, we need to talk about measurements first. Um, measurements are when we take an unknown quantity. Here you've got an amount of powder or liquid or you've got these um, pennies. And we compare it to a standard. The standard is the scale or the graduated cylinder. These are called calipers or, the, um, or ruler. Um, and so the unknown quantity is the thing that, you, that you're measuring and the standard is the thing that you're using to measure things. You're not just going to use like a blank stick, right, to measure things. You could, and you could say my, you know, my car is six sticks long, but not everybody uses sticks. Not all sticks are the same size. And so someone else may measure your car with a different stick and say, well, it's ten sticks long. And so that's why we have, um, we have these standards. Okay, if you measure your car with a meter stick and you say my car is six meters long, someone else comes by with a meter stick, they will also get six as long as you both are measuring using the meter stick correctly. Precision is how exact the measurement is. It depends on the instrument and it depends on the technique. Okay, um, precision, you want all, all your numbers are close together. They're really... Um, they're really close. This is precise. You can see they're all close together, so we have precision here. And we also have precision here because all of the um, darts are really close together. Um, if you think about the Hunger Games, this is kind of how I like to think about accuracy and precision. Um, if you're on the Hunger Games and you're allowed to have a partner, you want Katniss as your partner because when she shoots arrows, she is both accurate and precise. Okay. If, she, if you have a partner that is inaccurate, I, I would be inaccurate, okay? And this is the enemy, okay? We can say that this is Cato. It's the only bad guy I remember right now. Um, and if you're shooting Cato right here and you don't... If you're shooting Cato and you're hitting him over here, you're not actually hitting Cato and he has time to kill you, okay? So, so you're not, you're not going to hurt anyone this way. You, all your arrows will be in the same spot. This could be on a tree or whatever, but you're still going to die. Okay, here, um, Katniss is accurate and precise, and so um, if she's hitting Cato here, it's likely that you'll survive another day. Okay, now let's talk about accuracy. This is, this is how well the results of the measurement agree with the real value. So accurate is, this is basically how close to the bullseye you get. Okay, um, accuracy where at least, um, again, if we have Katniss, she's hitting Cato in the heart every single time. This is good. Okay, if she's hitting him in the arm or the leg or, you know, whatever, she's not, he's still going to be able to maybe hurt you. Okay, accurate but imprecise, she's still hitting him in the chest. It's not great. All your numbers aren't close together, so your arrows aren't going to be right where they're supposed to be in his heart, but you're hitting him in the chest, and it's likely um, he may not live another day, but you may. And then inaccurate and imprecise, okay, so you, you've got your tree next to Cato, okay, some of your marks are hitting the tree, some of them are not even hitting the tree, and none of them are hitting Cato. And so in these two situations, okay, you will probably die. Um, in order to maintain accuracy, um, Katniss probably adjusts her bow. Um, we need to adjust our measurements. Um, if you've ever used a if you've ever used a scale when you weigh stuff, before you start, before you put anything on there, you want to make sure that your scale is weighing zero um, before you, you put whatever you want you're weighing on there. Otherwise, it's not going to have, um, it's not going to give you an accurate reading. 